Picture this, a dimly lit room, the flicker of a vintage projector casting dancing shadows on the wall, and the anticipation hanging in the air like a tangible veil. You sink into your seat, popcorn in hand, as the opening credits roll. It's 1966, and the Sand Pebbles is about to transport you to a world of adventure and emotion. As the story unfolds, you're drawn into the tumultuous world of China in the 1920s, a world torn by revolution and conflict. Steve McQueen's mesmerizing performance as machinist Jake Homan and the hauntingly beautiful score create an atmosphere that's impossible to forget. Perhaps it was the sweeping cinematography that left you breathless, or maybe it was the gripping tale of love and sacrifice that resonated deeply within you. Whatever it was, your first encounter with the sand pebbles was nothing short of a cinematic revelation. Now, as we delve into some captivating random facts about this iconic film, y'all discover the hidden gems that make it a timeless classic. So, grab your life jacket, hop on board, and let's set sail into the intriguing world of the sand pebbles. Did you know that the movie was based on a novel by Richard McKenna, a former sailor who drew inspiration from his own experiences in the U.S. Navy? And that the film's production faced numerous challenges, including a typhoon that destroyed the set. These are just a few tidbits that add to the allure of this unforgettable movie. So, as we uncover more fascinating details, let's celebrate the enduring legacy of the sand pebbles and the indelible mark it has left on the hearts of moviegors everywhere. Get ready to embark on a journey of discovery and nostalgia as we dive deep into the trivia of this cinematic masterpiece. Buckle up, because we're about to set sail into the history of the Sand Pebbles. Steve McQueen's motorcycle adventure on the set of the Sand Pebbles in 1966. The movie The Sand Pebbles made waves in Hollywood, and not just on the silver screen. One memorable incident during its production involved Steve McQueen, the film star, and a Triumph motorcycle. As filming took place on the US, Texas at the San Jacinto battleground outside Houston, Texas, McQueen's action sent shockwaves through the production team. McQueen's affinity for motorcycles was no secret, and it became evident when an old friend arrived on set with his Triumph motorcycle. Without hesitation, McQueen hopped on the bike and roared off into the Texas landscape. He didn't return for nearly an hour, leaving producer and director Robert Wise in a state of fear and consternation. This impromptu motorcycle adventure by McQueen on the film's set became a memorable anecdote from the making of The Sand Pebbles. McQueen's rebellious and free-spirited nature shone through in this incident, reflecting the very essence of his iconic persona. This daring escapade added to the mystique of Steve McQueen and left an indelible mark on the film's production. Despite the challenges and unexpected detours, The Sand Pebbles eventually premiered in New York City, and McQueen embarked on a rare publicity tour to promote the film, making appearances on popular shows like The Ed Sullivan Show, What's My Line, and The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. In the world of Hollywood legends, The Sand Pebbles and Steve McQueen's motorcycle escapade remain as enduring tales of a bygone era in cinema. In 1966, the movie The Sand Pebbles made a lasting impact, not only on the silver screen but also in the lives of its cast and crew. While there may not be enough substantial information about either of the two ideas provided, here's an interesting fact about the film. The Sand Pebbles featured the use of Chinese pidgin English as a means of communication between the ship's crew and the coolies. CPE was a language invented by the British in the 1,800 seconds for conducting trade business in China. The term pidgin itself generally referred to business, but could take on different meanings like job or activity depending on context. This unique linguistic choice added depth and authenticity to the movie's portrayal of the interactions between the American crew and the local Chinese population. It was a testament to the attention to detail that went into creating the film's atmosphere, enriching the viewer's experience. While the sand pebbles may not have had a well-documented impact on its cast and crew like some other films, it certainly left its mark on cinema history with its portrayal of the ship's diverse community and the use of CPE as a means of communication. In the 1966 movie The Sand Pebbles, a remarkable piece of machinery takes center stage. The triple expansion steam engine, weighing 20 tons and boasting a robust 1,000 horsepower, was originally crafted in 1920 by England's Vickers Co. 
Its initial duty was to power a fishing trawler, which later saw action as a convoy escort vessel during World War II. Following its maritime career, the ship met its end in Vancouver, British Columbia, while the engine found new life at Burbank Fox Studio. Here, it was adapted to run on an electric motor for the film's production. Today, this historic engine resides aboard the SS. Lane Victory, an original World War II victory ship on display at the Port of Los Angeles, near the cruise ship terminals. The engine rests below deck in a forward cargo hold, a testament to its enduring strength and significance. The SS Lane Victory stands as the world's sole operational victory ship in its original configuration. During the summer months, it embarks on cruises from San Pedro to Catalina, complete with a simulated aerial attack featuring the at six Texans of the renowned Condor Squadron from Van Nuys, California. The triple expansion steam engine's journey from a trawler's heart to a movie set, and, ultimately, to a museum piece is a testament to its enduring legacy and the role it played in both maritime history and cinema. In Chinese Pidgin English, Sabi means understand. This language is no longer in use today, but some CPE words have found their way into standard English, like look-see for inspect, and chop-chop for quickly or hurry up. Jerry Goldsmith composed the score for the 1966 movie The Sand Pebbles. Interestingly, a substantial portion of his music from the film was later reused in the 1979 movie Dragon Fist. When the original composer for The Sand Pebbles, Alex North, fell ill, 20th Century Fox exercised its right to reassign Jerry Goldsmith, who was working on MGM's Grand Prix in 1966. These facts shed light on the unique history and linguistic influences surrounding the iconic movie The Sand Pebbles. In 1966, the movie The Sand Pebbles made a significant mark in cinema history. One notable fact is that it earned Steve McQueen his only Academy Award nomination. McQueen's portrayal of Jake Homan, a complex character serving on a U.S. gunboat in 1920s China, garnered critical acclaim. Although he didn't win the Oscar, this nomination remains a testament to his acting prowess. Director Robert Wise was immensely proud of the Sand Pebbles, so much so that he held yearly parties with surviving cast members to celebrate the film's enduring impact. This speaks to the lasting legacy and camaraderie forged during the making of the movie. As for Emmanuel Arson, who played Maylee in the film, she is indeed the same Emmanuel who later inspired and was credited as the author of the famous book and movie Emanuel in 1974, as well as its subsequent sequels. Her involvement in The Sand Pebbles adds an interesting layer to her cinematic career. In conclusion, The Sand Pebbles from 1966 holds a unique place in film history. Steve McQueen's Academy Award nomination, director Robert Wise's annual celebrations, and Emanuel Arson's connection to the movie all contribute to its enduring significance in the world of cinema. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the world of the sand pebbles, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with this timeless cinematic gem. This 1966 masterpiece, directed by Robert Wise and starring the legendary Steve McQueen, has left an indelible mark on the hearts of many. Perhaps you were captivated by the gripping storyline, the raw portrayal of characters caught in the midst of political turmoil, or the powerful themes of love and sacrifice. Maybe the scenic backdrop of the Yangtze River, the meticulous attention to historical detail, or the exceptional performances of the cast struck a chord with you. Whatever it may be, The Sand Pebbles has a unique way of resonating with each viewer. Now, it's your turn to share your favorite memories, thoughts, or reflections on this cinematic treasure. Did it inspire you, make you ponder the complexities of human nature, or transport you to another time and place? Your insights and personal connections are invaluable, contributing to the rich tapestry of experiences surrounding this film. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic exploration. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. So, go ahead and share your thoughts, and let's continue celebrating the enduring legacy of the Sand Pebbles. Your voice adds to the chorus of appreciation for this cinematic masterpiece. Until our next cinematic adventure, take care, and keep the love for film alive.